Hello there. Welcome to today's video. Please like and subscribe. We'll get right on with it. So, lately I've been seeing uh, other channels covering the potential of a pretty major polar vortex that could go through. So, I decided to do some research and here's what I found. So, here's this GFS model. This is by January 21st. Like, I mean, look. Negative 65. Negative 68. All that. Good thing is that barely anybody lives there, but anyone who lives there, who do? Then other extras mainly could get right around zero in the spots there in Minnesota, but here's my mid morning, um Thursday the twenty first, so next week. Things will change, but um all of the models have been showing this up lately, so it's definitely not something new and definitely something worth keeping an eye out. So Here's my Thursday evening on the 22nd. I mean, on the 21st. So, right there, negative 17. So, mainly negative 10 to negative 15 degree wind chills. This is wind chill, by the way. So, um, that's looking pretty cold. Maybe some locally higher, colder values of up to negative 17. But that's nowhere near close to worse than 20s, um, little teens, and then single digits down here. Maybe, who oh dear. And then, you see it slowly but surely crawl down so that by early morning, so it's about 3 a.m. in the morning, so that up to negative 20 degree wind chills possible in spots, so pretty cold. I would say not school closures cold, but maybe a couple two-hour delays are possible, but... That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be careful outside. You could get hypothermia, frostbite, and some other nasty stuff. Then, negative 12 to negative 14 degree wind chills in western Wisconsin. Mainly 5 to 11 degree above zero temperatures. And then, up to, even in a couple spots, up to negative 31 degree wind chills in northwestern Minnesota, nor south the North Dakota's mainly negative 11 to negative 18 wind chill. So, a couple wind chill advisories are possible. Then I'm gonna move back to nighttime. And then this is where it will take a deep plunge to the south. So, you already noticed by evening already some widespread negative 5 to negative 10 degree wind chills in western Wisconsin, negative 19, negative 20, 24. Yikes. Then even negative 53 up here. Then early morning Saturday. Mainly widespread at negative 10 to negative 20 degree wind chill. So again, pretty cold. Then gonna move on to nighttime again. And that's where we'll see the wars of it start coming down. Spots up to negative, maybe even 40 degree wind chills possible across far northern North Dakota. And then negative 46 here, negative 58 there, then negative there. So mainly negative 15 to negative um, 23 wind chills here. So super cold stuff. Then early morning. Oh boy. Oh dear. Negative 46 degree wind chills. Negative 43. So, and by the way, this is early Sunday morning on the 24th. Then just continues. Again, skip to about nighttime. This is afternoon, by the way. Negative 35 wind chills here. Potentially negative one here. So, Again, this is not the temperature, this is the wind chill, but it's still going to be super bad. Here's by early morning, negative 15 here. So, basically, the general idea is that we could have a severe polar vortex move to portions of the northern U.S. and eventually the northeastern U.S. That's the video for today. I hope you're informed. Stay safe out there.